Joining me in the studio right now, well, maybe one of the all-time right-handers, at least uh, how he pitches, how he writes, it's from either part of the brain. You know him as the lead singer and vocalist on The Tragically Hip, and he's just released his third solo record called The Grand Bounce. Please welcome to the age of 228 young, Gord Downey. Hey, Bucky, how you doing? Good. I just... I, I'm assuming when you pitch, when you when you pitch county hardball, or you did, you were a right-hander. Did you pitch your? I throw with my right, and I write with my left. Left. <laughs> that pretty makes sense. Yes. Uh, we are here today to celebrate the release of your new record. We have it right here. And for those of you who don't know what these is, this is called an album. It's in the form of a format called a CD, but in every aspect, from the artwork to the way the record is laid out, and most importantly, the booklet inside. And we'll talk about that in a sec. Gord, thank you for making a record. It's, uh, it's, it's nice to be able to, to appreciate the art form of music in, in this format once again. Well, the pleasure was all mine, start to finish. Um, let's talk about, I want to talk about the lyrics first, because for you, and, and, and being, being a, one whose, whose people appreciate his words from, from your body of work, a conscious decision to make it something that was actually easy to read and fun to read and practical to put back in the booklet as opposed to unfolding it and losing it. Uh, talk about the design of, those, of the lyrics book, because it's great. Yeah, I decided, looking at the Johnny Cash record, the new um, uh, Johnny Cash record, uh, Ain't No Grave, or Johnny Cash 6, however you call it, uh, it had a book that size, and uh, I liked it instantly. I thought it was more pocketbook, something you could carry around with you if you so chose. And, uh, yeah, I thought the other size was a little too unwieldy, and I think you save probably uh, 22% in the packaging. Yeah, and, and, and it makes it, again, I, th I think that... The biggest problem with CDs and why the format failed was the lack of perceived value by the consumer. I think we all feel that we want to have value and we're willing to pay for value. And, and be it the, the jewel boxes broke or you couldn't read the artwork mm -hmm. or the lettering, that, gave a, that, that took away from the value of it. And once the value of something on a personal basis or whatever is taken away from something, then, then people's uh, need to feel that they have to reciprocate for it is taken away. And I think that packaging is such a big part of bringing back whatever album or the CD format. And I, yeah. yeah, I think it's uh, if people need a reason to go out and buy it, you know, obviously performance is one aspect of music that people need to go see. They can't copy or download. They want to enjoy the performance as it's disappearing. They want to experience something that's happening and disappearing at the same time. Uh, this is different. We're bottling something, a performance that wants to disappear. And, uh, and for reasons, uh, you know, that are obvious, if someone's going to buy it, you have to give them something to buy. 